Good morning, guys. We're just going to take you along this morning, show you some morning chores. Uh, uh, first of all, of course, it's about 4.15, so we're going to um, go milk Elsa. And uh, we'll show you kind of every morning we, we, we get everything out. We get the, uh, uh, the jar and also the pail. I don't know if you want to see it. It's kind of dark. Um, but then we get um, her food, get it ready to go. Um, just again, a standard uh, grain pellet. That's a natural pellet from from, um, from Mississippi. Um, and then we have an alfalfa pellet, a full natural alfalfa pellet, again, uh, made here in Mississippi. Um, she gets, uh, basically, we, we, we have five gallons of food out there when we feed her. Uh, now, again, she does not eat five gallons worth of food. But we want to make sure she's got an excess to where she tries to not move as much. When we put just enough food, uh, she probably eats around two and a half, three gallons when we milk her. But if we we put just enough, she tends to get a little antsy, uh, and, and we understand that. So we try to give her a little bit more than she needs, because ultimately when she does not eat, or when we uh, put it in front of her, it keeps her calm. Once she's done, we actually uh, put it back into the buckets, and actually the excess just goes to our, our other little cows. So. Uh, we don't waste. Uh, we don't leave it there for the next day because it could get nasty and things like that. So, so we're going to load it up and then we will go move her from the paddock into the dairy field. All right, we're actually driving to uh, the paddock that's actually across from the uh, uh, across the gravel road, across our gravel road. Basically, um, I do not move. I know you can't see me because it's dark, but I do not put an Elsa on the side with the garden uh if you've watched any of our videos uh we do not do um that we keep her on the basically the three paddocks um that is actually in the in, by the dairy field uh, the purpose being is that it would make it a whole lot harder to move her across uh that early in the morning i'm not saying you can't do it and there's probably a lot of milkers that do i try to keep her though uh pretty close to me but um but basically she's she's in the little paddock that's closest to the lake uh, if you remember uh, my paddock set up so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get her moved and uh, like I said you'll see her in just a few moments and we'll get her milked and I'll show you for the rest of the day what we do uh, I've actually got a jacket on it's in Mississippi I mean my kids swam yesterday but in Mississippi it's, it's we're having some chilly morning so we're we're, we're just kind of it's kind of unbelievable so I've got a jacket and coveralls on this morning uh, trying to deal with this coolness but so again we'll put the two gates together Rest them on the mule and um, get her moved over. Good morning, Elsa girl. Good morning. Good morning. Come on. You did. You did. Come on. Come on. This way, he beep. He beep. I guess she wants to explore this morning. Come on, he beep. Come on, he beep. Come on, he beep. Come on, girl. Come on. Good girl. She gets really excited in the mornings. Uh, she knows she's getting alfalfa. Uh, it's like a it's like a drug to her man she loves it so we're going to lock this field back so that way that crazy bull calf um is with her we don't want him out he's been out twice uh, once the last two days and man oh man i cannot wait to kill him off goodness gracious so anyways so we're going to to uh go ahead and start milking all right we're on the other side of the field You'll see, uh, I'm going to open the gate. Elsa is right there. You can barely see her. I know it's dark. I'm sorry, guys. I milk at 4 to 4.30, but it's about 4.30 when I have to move fields. But uh, You'll see, I'm going to close this gate behind me, and you'll see her. She'll go on in. As soon as I pull up next to that stanchion, she runs in. So we'll close our gates off. Uh, I challenge you if you if you decide to, to milk a cow, whatever time it is, I, I 
I have a normal job too along with homesteading so uh, I, I have to milk early enough to where I can get uh, my normal daily morning chores together before we I go to work so that's why I start my day early and that's why I start milking early and uh, that's why I'm bringing you along this morning so so there's the stanchion. Watch her, she'll come on in just a second. I'll start unloading my things and she'll come on in. Good morning, girl. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first and foremost, to come in, start with my, my apple cider vinegar. We'll put a little bit of that in there. Get my rags, of course, to start the, the day to clean her off. Get my pre and post dip right here in the corner. Good morning. Can you say hey to YouTube this morning? Nope. All right, let's get it all hooked on here. Uh, every morning we do the same routine. Normally, music's playing. She's so probably thinking, why well, is music not playing? But since I'm using my phone, the film, she uh, she's probably thinking, man, what's so weird about that? So again, well, then once we do that, we go ahead and get her food, and that will of course bring her on in. I oh, got your alfalfa girl. Hold on. Okay. She, this is her favorite time of the morning. She loves this alfalfa. Ah. Let's go. Come on. Beep beep. There she goes. All right, well, I'm gonna get her milk and pour this food in here, get her milk, and then we will continue our morning. Typically we'll sit here and just let her eat. Make sure that post dip has time to just kind of sit on there and help kind of close her up before we really start the rest of our chores. Let her eat the rest of her food. You can see how that five, you know, four to five gallons, she's still got probably a good, ah, right, half gallon gallon. Um, so what we'll do is when we let her sit here just a little bit and just finish up, We'll actually um, take the little remainder when we give, uh, let the other cows out for um, for their temporary fencing today. We will actually uh, give it to them. That way, give them something to gnaw on, a little candy, a little little uh, treat for hopefully staying in their fence. So we'll let her finish eating. You can see the post tips on. We just let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes, hopefully, and then uh, we let her go. And, and All right. This morning, you can see we just finished up uh, taking care of Elsa. She has been milked and then moved over to her other paddock back with Sizzle. So you can see when I get done milking, it's still dark outside. Um, it just again, time wise, it's probably around 5, 25, 30. Moon is still out and bright. So uh, just a beautiful way to start your morning always. Uh, as I've said in other videos, <laughs> if uh, you don't have a passion for uh, milking on your homestead uh, and you still do other jobs uh, I wouldn't get into it because it can be very rather uh, rather hard every morning and also um, not only rather hard it's uh, you got to deal with the elements too so you'll see we'll kind of shut down the barn get our milk taken care of and before we take our milk we'll uh, go turn on the other cows paddock and permanent fencing I mean excuse me from permanent fencing to temporary fencing and get them taken care of and then we'll feed the hogs and then we'll be ready to to end our morning chores uh, Aiden tends to feed the chickens and take care of them get their eggs that's something he does every morning and he'll go check on the hogs and cows as well but uh, every morning we kind of get all of it finished up so you see she don't have much food left we'll go and pour it up have it for the other cows and I will go over there and take care of them Hey pigs! Hey pigs! Hey pigs! 
You hungry this morning? Taking care of the two American Guinea Hall, George and Peppa. All right, you see we strained twice, uh, just to make sure we have a good, clean, raw milk, but that's kind of the process of my day. Um, that's all happens from four to about uh, 5.45 to six. So uh, that's our morning chores, and we hope that you enjoy your day. If you hadn't subscribed to it, I hope, we hope that you do. Um, and comment, uh, share, and please give us a thumbs up. But any questions or concerns, please leave them in the uh, thoughts below. Uh, we love to answer, we love to hear and give words of wisdom. We always love that too. So, uh, and we hope you have a good day and happy homesteading, y'all.